Hey tech enthusiasts, ever wondered what happens in those crucial moments when you power on your device? Today, we're diving into the world of bootloaders, the unsung heroes of your gadget startup process. So, what exactly is a bootloader? Think of it as the brain behind your device's startup. It's the very first program that runs when you hit that power button or reset your device. Imagine it as the system's traffic controller, ensuring everything starts in the right order and runs smoothly. What is the role of a bootloader in embedded systems? A bootloader in embedded systems is a critical component in the startup process, responsible for loading and launching the main application firmware. It is the first software to execute when the system powers on or resets. The key roles of a bootloader include system initialization. The bootloader initializes essential hardware and peripherals needed for system operation. This includes configuring clocks, memory, I.O. ports, interrupt vectors, and other low-level settings critical for proper functionality. Firmware update and maintenance is one of the primary functions of a bootloader. It provides a mechanism for upgrading the system's firmware without the need for specialized programming hardware. The bootloader allows new firmware to be loaded into the system's memory, replacing or updating the existing firmware. This feature is particularly useful during the product development phase or when bug fixes or feature enhancements need to be deployed to deployed systems. Boot mode selection. Bootloaders often include a mechanism to select the boot mode or application to be loaded. This allows developers to choose different operating modes, such as running the main application, performing firmware updates, running diagnostic routines, or entering a bootloader specific configuration mode. Firmware Verification and Authentication Bootloaders may implement security features to ensure the integrity and authenticity of the firmware being loaded. This can involve verifying digital signatures or checksums to detect and prevent the installation of unauthorized or corrupted firmware. Security measures like Secure Boot can also be implemented to ensure only trusted firmware is loaded into the system. Communication and Protocol Support Bootloaders typically support various communication interfaces such as UART, SPI, USB, Ethernet or wireless protocols to facilitate the transfer of firmware from an external source, like a host computer, to the embedded system. The bootloader implements the necessary communication protocols to establish a reliable and secure data transfer channel. Recovery and Fail-Safe Mechanisms in case of a system failure or a corrupted application firmware, bootloaders can provide recovery mechanisms. They allow the system to be brought back to a known working state, such as by reverting to a previous firmware version or by executing a fail-safe routine that helps diagnose and recover from errors. User Interaction and Configuration Bootloaders can offer user interfaces or interaction mechanisms to configure system parameters, update settings, or perform diagnostics. This may involve displaying information on a display, accepting user inputs through buttons or a serial interface or implementing a command line interface, also known as a CLI, for advanced configuration options. For example, consider an IoT device that receives periodic firmware updates over the air, or OTA. The bootloader ensures secure downloading and verification of the update, applies the new firmware and can revert to a previous version if the update fails. This functionality is crucial for maintaining device reliability and security in remote deployments. Conclusion Bootloaders are indispensable for embedded systems, managing system initialization, firmware updates, security, and recovery. Their flexibility and functionality contribute significantly to the reliability and versatility of modern embedded systems.